get ready with me while I talk about things that I hate. I think this one is definitely top on my list. But when I'm like excited about something and I'm talking about something and like I'm obviously like really happy about it and someone tells you to calm down. Like obviously I'm excited about something and you tell me to calm down. Now I don't even want to tell the story. Now I'm not even excited about it anymore. When I'm sitting over here having a literal panic attack because I cannot find absolutely anything to wear. I'm trying on literally a million different outfits. So now my room is literally a disaster because I just went through a million different outfits and I end up going with the first one. I just destroyed my room trying on a bunch of different outfits and then I end up going with the first one. When someone like clearly insults you, like not a joke, but like clearly insults you, like disrespect you, and especially in front of a bunch of other people and it's like, it's just a joke, it's just a joke, calm down. You clearly just disrespected me in front of a whole bunch of people and insulted me. What do you mean, calm down? When you're eating like an egg or scrambled eggs or honestly any type of meat and it starts tasting a little bit too much like egg or too much like meat, if that makes sense, you guys know what I mean. Like that literally happened to me this morning. I was eating scrambled eggs and I had to stop and throw it away because I was like, this tastes too much like egg. Like this tastes too much like chicken. Like all I'm picturing is a chicken in my head while I'm eating this. Or when you go to like Chick-fil-A or something and you get one bad nugget and now you can't finish the rest because you had one bad nugget and you're like, now I can't eat Chick-fil-A for the next three weeks. This one might be a little bit controversial, but when your friend goes for one of your exes, no matter how long ago you and this ex dated, I feel like it's just wrong. Unless you're like, okay, yeah, girl, go ahead. Like, I don't want nothing to do with that boy. But even at that point, I still feel like it's kind of a violation of girl code. Like, okay, have fun with my leftovers. Like, to me, I would I would never, ever date any of my friend's exes, no matter how long ago her and this boy dated. When I clearly do not have an attitude and I get told to lose the attitude, mom, this goes out for you. We would literally be having a normal conversation or she asked me a question and she'd be like, lose the attitude. I didn't have an attitude, but now I'm going to have an attitude. I don't know why, that just makes me so mad. Like I did not have an attitude. What are you telling me to lose my invisible attitude for? I love my mom so much, but that was a daily thing. That was a daily thing. When your mom or dad or whoever sees you visibly going to do something or in the middle of doing something. Let me give you an example. I am doing the dishes or I am clearly heading towards the dishes and she's like, do the dishes, do the dishes right now. Now I don't wanna do them. Like I was voluntarily about to go do it, but now I'm not going to do them. Okay, I probably have to do them or I'm gonna get my whooped but now i don't want to do it now i don't want to do it oh my goodness when i just did a full face of makeup and like i'm laying down and my eyes start watering does that ever happen to you guys like i'll be laying on my side or something and just like teardrops would start coming down i'm like oh my goodness of course of course also guys look at all these pretty blushes i love say so much i love using liquid blushes on a day where i'm not doing like a face of makeup Okay, I love and hate this at the same exact time, but when I already know the truth, like, like I already know 100% that this happened, when I ask someone and they blatantly lie straight to your face, like I find it funny and I hate it and love it at the same time. Like I love that I know you're lying right now, but I hate that you're literally visibly lying straight to my face right now. Like I already know the truth. And if I ask, then I probably already know. When I'm going to put my mascara wand back in the tube and it misses the tube and gets on my arm or gets on my hand. Mm. This one's for my girlies. When I start my period and I have nothing with me. And the worst one is when you don't even have like a bathroom near you and you know you just started your period, you don't have nothing, there's no bathroom or you can't use the restroom. I'm like, this is going to be the worst day. This is going to be the worst day ever. Or when you know you just started your period or you're leaking through and the teacher tells you you can't go to the bathroom and now you got to say, I'm bleeding, I need to go so the whole class can hear you and know that you're on your lady days. I remember I had to do that twice in high school and I don't know why, I just like felt so embarrassed. Like now I have to let the whole class know that I'm on my lady days because you won't let me go to the restroom. When you've had plans already planned for like a week and they get canceled last minute after you were so excited about them. Like you've literally had a week to tell me that you couldn't go and you wait till an hour before we're supposed to be doing whatever we're doing to tell me you can't go. Like I could have did something else today. I could have made other plans. No, I was waiting on you. When you see your group of friends hanging out without you, it makes me want to cry. Like I hate it so much. Like I want to cry. If I see like my group of friends hanging out like all together and I wasn't invited, y'all don't love me no more. Like my lashes aren't lashing. That, that's one thing that I hate, when your lashes aren't lashing or your hair isn't herring. Like, what is this? What are they doing? Why are they going every which way? Friends who always try to one-up you no matter what it is. Like, they are always there to one-up you and make sure that you know you're not special. Okay, this video is already eight minutes long. Love you guys. Bye. Let me know if you guys want a part two. 
I'm a girl that goes to a public school. Of course, we sit wherever we want when we've got a supply teacher. I'm a girl that goes to a public school. Of course, we get told that we can't go on our phones, so we go on them in the toilet anyway. I'm a girl that goes to a public school. Of course, when we have a computer room, we don't actually do the work. We just sit and play games on the computers, the full lesson. I'm a girl that goes to a public school. Of course, we run away from any teachers that we see when we're in a place that we're not meant to be at that time. I'm a girl that goes to a public school. Of course, I still blue tack off any walls that I see it on. I'm a girl that goes to a public school. Of course, we have to go in even if it's trenchous weather. And when I say trenchous weather, I mean like piles of snow to the point where you can't even get out of your house. I'm a girl that goes to a public school. Of course, I skive the first five minutes of PE so I don't have to do it. I'm a girl that goes to a public school. Of course, the teachers care more about the jewellery and the makeup you wear than the actual education itself. I'm a girl that goes to a public school. Of course, there's that one teacher that tells you the full life story instead of actually doing the lesson. I'm a girl that goes to a public school. Of course, we have the same uniform all year round, so we've got a sweat in the summer in trousers, which needs to be changed. Anyway, that is me ready. I've seen this trend going around TikTok, so I just decided to do it all. Um, but yeah, bye. <laughs> Things I'm convinced people are lying about liking. Number one is pickles. They are so salty and so gross, and they're basically just awful cucumbers. Number two is rap music. Unless it's Nicki Minaj, I do not understand the appeal. I don't know. It's just so vulgar and not my vibe. Number three is turtlenecks. They are just so claustrophobic. Like, they're itchy, and there's just too much going on in the neck area. Number four is the taste of alcohol. Let's be real. It is straight-up hand sanitizer. Like, I just smell alcohol, and I gag. I have no clue husband could enjoy it. This last one's gonna anger a lot of people, but boba, never liked it, never will. I just think the texture is like so weird and gross. You think that I'm gonna pay 20 to get in the coup. You think that I'm gonna pay 20 to get in the coup. You think that I'm gonna pay 20 to get in the coup. Things that I hate or strongly dislike. When you shave your legs, they're anywhere, and then you realize, like, you miss a spot. I hope that makes sense. People that say anyway instead of anyways. I said something, but I don't, I'm not going to say it anymore because it's kind of rude. But, like, it's not rude, actually. I don't want anyone to get mad at me, though. Also, I cut it out, but I put on blush. This is a really unpopular opinion, but I do not like getting my nails done. Like, I like the outcome, you know? Like, I like when they look good, but I just don't like sitting there. Like, I wish I could be, like... And they'd be done, you know? Running out of any product. Like, uh, if I ran out of this powder right now, if I went to go grab my powder and there was no powder left, I'm like trying to get some out. Cause it's like, there's none left. So annoying. This is like, I think the most random one I've done yet. But like those one blow dryers, like when you, wa you wash your hands, like the ones that go in and then like it dries your hands. Like I swear, I'll be sitting there for like, so long just to get my hands dry like i end up just leaving i'm like okay whatever what hands for life the albert einstein edits like i swear they were on my for you page so much at one point like it's just like and like no beef with albert einstein but like we're making edits of him now also if you've done any of these things i'm not mad at you like i do not care like it doesn't keep me up at night or anything like you're good okay okay toodles Ready for me to go to school grounded free. I was grounded like two days, but it felt like two years. It have been longer, actually. This past weekend, all I did was take long naps, and like, I'm actually excited to go to school. That's how hard my weekend was. Y'all, I had like, no phone. I didn't have my phone, but I had my iPad. Guys, you know what I did? I finished a puzzle. Like, I've never done a puzzle in my whole life. And I cleaned my room. Like, I was actually productive this weekend. I feel like you need to be grounded more often the accomplishments she has done this past weekend is like crazy right i'm actually glad i get to go back to school because like i get to actually talk to people and see my crush <sighs> this part about this weekend is there's no mukbang monday because i was grounded so i can't even have good food what can i say i'm like, so depressed i didn't even do my heat list curls i have to do the morning announcements soon like i'm not prepared for that because everybody's gonna hear me talk i mean you talk a lot so i mean this should be normal for you one thing i did get excited about this weekend was that summer friday sent us their new butter bomb look how glamorous and cute the packaging is oh my god this smells like a vanilla cake pop and a sugar cookie combined like <gasps> oh my it does smell like sugar cookie okay time to try it uh -oh. whoa 
It's like your lips, but better with like a little bit of glitter. Okay, slay. Slay some of Fridays. Finally, I get to go to school with my phone, but not all my phone privileges are they gonna be the same. Valentine's Day dance is coming up soon, and I'm excited about that because if you know, you know. Guys, we gotta go by back to the real world. So how was it being grounded? Adios. What is the one thing you guys think our kids are going to look at us and be like, mom, why did you have that on? Or mom, why did you wear your makeup like that? I'm going to tell you my ideas in this list I made, but like I do all of them. So this is not meant to be hateful at all. This is kind of basic, but I know my kid's going to be like, mom, why were you wearing white eyeliner? Like you look like a little character or something. And I'm going to have to sit there and be like, do you even know who Alex Earl is? Like, no, so back off. I also think my kid would be like, why are you wearing clothes that are like three times your size? Like, I don't know. It's just what made me comfy. Like the baggy cargo jeans or wearing like a huge t-shirt where your shorts don't show. I don't know, kiddo. Mom, why did you need hair extensions that didn't blend when you could just like have your natural hair? I don't know. I just know they're going to come for the lash extensions too. Like, we looked good. We looked good. Things changed. I just know they're coming for our bronzy drops and they're going to tell us they didn't match our neck. Like, I'm aware, sweetie. I just would rather my face look tan. 50 pounds of blush we wear. They're going to be like, what in the heck? But I'm just going to be like... You weren't there. You had to be there. Definitely getting attacked for the highlighter we put on our nose where it like looks like we're Rudolph, but it's so cute. I feel like they're coming for our nails too. Like how we get like long acrylics. They're going to be like, y'all could have just got your nails painted. I'm not even halfway through my list, so I'm going to do a part two. So if you guys have some, put them in the comments. And if I can relate, I'm going to include it in the next video. Things I hate with like a burning passion. When I'm like completely focused on something, like head down, focusing goggles on, like a literal rock could take a look at me and be like, she is just so in the zone on something. Using the ordinary 2% salicylic acid serum and someone just decides to still be in my ear like, me, 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 me. Shut the fuck up, bitch! No, like, actually, what are you doing? Like, are you feeling okay? And it's always, always without fail, something just so extremely unimportant, like, with no value. No comedic value. They're just like, <laughs> oh my god. Nope, nope, nope. Bye, thank you. The Niche Water Bank Moisturizer. Oh, because you know what's even better? When I like try to ignore it, because you know, I'm so obviously focused on something. Like usually I'm like editing or something. So they keep repeating themselves. Like, yes, please, please keep doing that. Thank you. I love it when you do that. They're like, like please, shut up. Perfect, I love it when you do that. Please keep doing that. Please keep it up, keep it up, babe. First sent me PR, so we're gonna try these products. Made for problem skin, how did you know? Come out, daddy, come out, it's fine. Nothing to be scared of. This is the Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. Okay, this one's like really specific, but when people don't replace their trash can liners the second that they take the trash out. No, talk about infuriating because you know what's annoying? When you're sitting there like ready to throw something away and you see there's no like liner in the trash, so you're like, <coughs> Oh, 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 like you're already up. You're already standing, babe. Just replace the liner so I can throw away my damn tampon. Now we're trying their eye cream. Ow. Thank you. Thanks. When people get mad when you get... Yep, thank you. Anyway, when people get mad when you get like inspired by them, and I don't mean like clothes, a hairstyle, shoes, or like anything like that. I mean over like some stupid ass shit. For example, when I was in middle school, middle school, I had a sleepover at my friend's house, right? And she had one of those, you know, like shower organizers that like hit the top of the ceiling and the bottom of the floor, just like shelves. I was taking a nice little shower and I was like, dang, this shit kind of nice. So I went and I bought one of those shower organizers because all my stuff was just like literally on the tub my parents like put it together and we put it up and i was like oh my gosh this is so cool like i'm organized now whatever so i thought it was like funny because you know it's a fucking shower organizer i took a picture of it i sent it to her mellow beauty sent me this beauty blender and look how big it is it's jumbo it's like the marshmallow one anyway she leaves me on red right not only that but then she posts on twitter and like tweets i hate when people copy me girl it is a shower organizer. I promise you'll be okay, babe. Like I thought it was gonna be like a funny, cute little joke and I'll be like, oh my gosh, look, I got this because of you. And she was gonna be like, oh my God, slay or something. No, she was pissed. Like, and for what? And I understand when like someone's like copying every single thing you do or something like that. But like, girl, it's a shower organizer. Like, I just want to be clean. Like, sorry, babe. Look how satisfying this beauty blender is. What?
Okay, no, because heavy on this one, heavy on this one. When you are getting like rushed while you're getting ready, no. Story time. So yesterday we just got back from our Atlantic City like Thanksgiving trip. You know, we just moved into the new apartment. We've been a little on the go lately. And no, because you know what else annoys me? When I walk in the door when I'm wearing one of these like big baggy t-shirts and I get like yeeted backwards. Like, thank you. Do it more, babe. Do it more. Also, always just, I always, oh my God. Also, always just lose the makeup product, like the one makeup product that I use the absolute most. It's just like missing. Nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be heard, like echoes in the silence, and it's just gone. That makes me mad. I guess I'll use the e.l.f. Halo Glow wand instead because I can't find my stuff. But yeah, so I mean like the second we walk in the door, we're like getting spam called. Like, where are you guys? Like, the food's almost out of the And you know, any normal sane person would be like, hey, like we just moved in. We just got back. Like, blah, blah, blah. You know me, I'm like a little people pleaser. Like, if I think I'm inconveniencing or wasting anyone's time, I will literally absolutely freak out. Like, I cannot with wasting people's time, like being late, like whatever. So I turn into like army go mode, right? I'm running around like our apartment's not even fully unpacked we just moved in i'm like going through boxes to like find stuff like tripping over crap and like all this other stuff i'm like doing a full set of these eyelash extensions like there is glue like black glue chunks of it like in my eyes like burning like tears running down my eyes like sobbing like in fatal pain i'm like trying to curl my hair and like do my makeup like as fast as i can like to make it like of course i like couldn't find anything i needed either so i'm like getting even more anxious and like upset they had good intentions like i'm sure they just wanted us to like be there but it's just like a me problem it's a me problem i can't i just can't with time management i don't know maybe it's like my adhd or but I just can't and it's just uh, But I feel like it's just like getting ready specifically because when it's like cleaning or doing something else I'm like whatever when it's like getting ready. Oh, no, I do not mess with my appearance, babe Like I will not show up anywhere looking like crusty dusty musty So that is the one thing that I will like literally get so anxious and like oh my gosh, I'll freak out Okay, this is like stupidly specific but parking to the right I cannot handle a spot that's like to the right of like you're here, right? The parking spot's here and you have to like pull to the right. Nope. I will go all the way back down, turn my ass around and come back so it'll be on my left and I can pull into the left because like the driver's seat is on the left, I guess. But I just can't do it no matter how hard I try. No, because it's even more annoying when I'm like driving with someone else in the car and they're like, no, you could do it. Like just pull to the right. Like, no, I cannot boo. Like I will, I will literally speed racer like skirt just so I can pull to the left because absolutely not we won't be doing that today and i just that is not a skill set that i need to know for life when i could just turn around why would i take the time to sit there and learn how to park better when i could just turn around like ew why is there like fuzz on my hand? i got these two new lipsticks from mac from tj maxx for like super cheap so we're gonna try one of them i think this is the shade we're going for it is 316 devoted chili period this is the winky Lux lip liner and meow you guys always ask me what my lip combo is anything i use it's with this liner okay let's see how yep yep that went on like a lot more red than i thought it was going to but it's still like pinteresty vibe i don't know it's cute my eyebrows actually look like a raccoon slay but i love you hot markers and i will see you in the next one Get ready with me at the friend who has everything's house. She's a vanity makeup woman, so you already know this is going to be good. Okay, she has the little pink headband things, but it's downstairs and I don't want to grab it, so we're not going to use it. But just know it could be on my head. First thing we're going to do... Okay, we're actually going like, to use this clip. Never mind, we're using these. Oh my gosh, there's gold ones. Oh, you got the little this action. There's a pearl one. Okay, there's more, but I'm kind of sold on these um, pink ones. So we're gonna oh, oh, use these ones on up. There Hello. she is, the woman herself. A, a glowy one. Glowy. Okay. We got the glowy primer AF. Applying this to anywhere that I will be putting stuff on. Do you have black? You want black eyebrows? Mm, my hair's black now. She wants to go blow her nose. She lives at my house. Now we're going in with concealer. Oh, no. Blend. What, the beauty blender? Yeah, it's so disgusting. It's beautiful. Thank you. 
Now we're going to go in with the bronzer. Hey, right now, what's up? And doing. Okay, put in color Wait, back onto out? my face with this. Oh, just go ham. Put it all over. I know! Yeah, I just got off work. I will send you a list. Just so you know, I can still do your eyeshadow. This smells. Whoa, whoa. Stop. This smells like a literal chocolate pudding. Oh, it, yeah, you did. You freak. And then I also Wait, put it on my staying? eyes because them? I don't do eyeshadow, but I think they're it looks. Now I'm gonna go in with some blush. That's cream. Just kidding. Christian Dior, Dior. I went in with this. Let's see what she looks like. Whoa. Whoa. It's like shiny AF. I love it. Wait, is this. This is like. I had steak, I had frill fries, sauce, and honey, I had mashed potatoes. Okay, now we're gonna highlight with this gold stuff. Okay. She's so me. You're so me. This is voluptuous. I know, I love it. Okay, we have three seconds left, so go to part two. First, get ready with me after a breakup. Alright, I need to stop doing that, but if y'all have been wondering why I haven't been posting consistently, that's why. We had been dating for five years, and I decided to break it off this past weekend. Now, I don't want to say too much, just because I respect his privacy, but basically, I have just grown out of him, and... I just feel like I've lost myself and he's done certain things in the past, messed up things and I just, I guess I just never really fully got over it and yeah, I probably already said too much but <laughs> we're still on good terms, I don't hate him or anything like that but we're doing no contact right now um, but mostly I just feel guilty because it was definitely was not mutual, okay? But, you know, sometimes you have to be selfish for once in your life. And I'm doing that because genuinely, I just have not been happy. That's like the overall thing. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's pouring rain outside right now. It really sets the mood, really sets the scene. The breakup would have definitely been easier if we didn't live together, but it's fine. Um. <laughs> Tell me why I just heard a knock at my door and then he slid these under the front door. I think I'm gonna be sick. I can't do this. Anyways, I wish I could explain this better. Like, it kind of came out of nowhere, but it it didn't. Like, I slowly was naturally detaching from him. And I didn't, like, mean to. It was just, like, it was just happening. Like, ugh, I don't know. I should not be talking about this because I did not want other people's opinions. Because I really do not need that right now, especially if they're, like, negative. Just be nice, guys. Just be nice. I think the hardest part about breaking up nowadays is honestly getting used to not texting them about things that happen throughout your day. Or seeing, like, a TikTok or an Instagram reel or a meme or something that, like, you would normally send them and then you can't. You know what I mean? The little things like that. But for me, I am really struggling living alone. <laughs> y'all are probably thinking like i don't even seem that sad and honestly maybe i'm not because i have been through i've been through worse honey if i can get through my dad dying i can definitely get through this so yeah um but honestly i i feel i feel free i feel at peace i i honestly i feel good i've not good but I feel relieved. I just need to shut up already. I just can't help it. Like, you guys are literally like my besties. Like, I'm just like venting on FaceTime to my bestie. Like, I can't help it. I just felt like I needed to like say something about it because I feel like I couldn't just like keep posting and just act like, I don't know. I just like, for some reason, can't keep it from y'all. I just feel weird like posting and not telling y'all. Wait, can we talk about the fact that I woke up to 700,000 followers? I love you guys. 
what the hell thank you guys but another hard thing is all of my besties my in real life besties have long-term committed relationships like frick y'all and your boyfriends break up with no i'm kidding because you know i need some girly time now more than ever but they're all in school they're all in college and working at the same time which is like literally so much they're always busy and then by the time like when they do have time to chill they want to chill with their boyfriends which is like totally understandable so <gasps> i just feel like a burden and i'm out of setting spray but um if you're going through a breakup too girl you are not alone okay we're gonna get through this together okay don't worry we're both gonna get those post breakup glow ups okay but I'm gonna go out and eat some Italian food. I have a date with my mom. Hi, psych. It's not with a dude. It's my mom. We're just gonna like talk shit. But no, but I love you guys. Bye.